All right. Salutations once again, my children. And today, we're going to guide you towards the next performance task in mathematics regarding the circles, or at least the formulas of circles together with the equations of a circle. Uh, you know, this is this this performance task is uh, pretty easy, so it's gonna be short. All right, so we're gonna start off. Uh, just ignore that. So performance task lesson five to eight. So the directions are: look around you, choose one object that represents a circle. May it be a clock, just like this one. May it be something circle, but not a sphere. You know, don't take a basketball because that is a sphere. Take one that is a circle, like a clock or something, you know, or a coin. But that's too small. But yeah, just choose one object that represents a circle. Then you take a clear photo. Then using a measuring device, a ruler, a measuring tape, etc., find the measure of its radius, diameter, circumference, and area. For arc length and then area of a sector, give your own degree measure. Moreover, write its equation at the origin at zero as its center. Repeat the table below your solution in the paper or Microsoft Word. So as you can see, this is the table and we're going to provide the parts of the circle and our answers over here. Note, include at least one behind the scene photo as a proof. It's like this one, we have a clock. Alright? So as you know, I already done this because I know. I know what's going to be the answer. But what we're going to do is we have to measure the radius and the diameter in the real life item, of course, with the real life item itself. So for mine, I picked a round food container as from my example. So as you can see, so based on my round food container over here, what I did was I took a ruler or you can take whatever measuring device you want and I retrace the radius so as you know the radius is the distance from the center of the circle on the circle you know these parts those aren't called sides because and corners because a circle doesn't have sides or corners but it's a distance between the center and these parts any of these parts right here that's the distance that's the radius while the diameter goes through the circle, through the center of the circle, and that's going to be the distance from two points in the circle going through the center. That's the diameter, and then this is the radius. So I found it by tracing my steps. Based on my diameter, you could also do it just like this. I found my diameter to be 12 centimeters. So what I did was I divided it by 2 so I get the radius. That's an easy trick. Or you could also just retrace it so that's equals to 6. 6 centimeters. Alright, now that we have that, we're now going to go over the circumference, the area, the arc length, and the area of the sector. So you may ask me, how can we solve this? Well, it's pretty easy. So I'm going back to the module right here. So it's on lesson 6 if I believe. Lesson 6 these these are stated that these are the formulas for what we need. So as you can see we need a circumference, area, arc length and our area of a sector. We got everything over here. So what you're going to do is you're just going to apply everything as usual. It's pretty easy to do like this one example so we got the circumference formula which is c equals 2 pi r so our pi is 3.14 so i suggest you use 3.14 instead of pi and times the radius my radius is 6 centimeters so i did the math i did 3.14 times 6 or no i did 2 times 3.14 first 6.28 and then time and then multiplied times by 6 that becomes 37.68 centimeters so that is my circumference. That's the circumference of the round food container that I have. Next is the area. Based on the formula right here, A is equals to pi r squared. 
to pi r squared, 3.14 times the radius, which is 6 centimeters squared. What I did is I squared the 6 first, so that's 36. And 3.14 times 36, you get 113.04 centimeters squared. But take a note, if you're looking for the sides of the circle, or there's no sides, but the things on the circle, that's the circumference. It's only in centimeters form or whatever you may use. You can use centimeters, millimeters, um, inches. So that's going to be it for the circumference or the things that you need to find the sides of the circle or the, the on the circle. But if you're trying to find the area of the circle, which is the whole shaded region right here, you're going to have to use squared. So that's centimeters squared, millimeters squared, inches squared, and so on. So that's what I did here. For the circumference, which is on the circle, on the circle right here, that's going to be centimeters only, but if it's the area, which covers the whole region, that's going to be centimeters squared. Same thing with this, arc length. So the formula for the arc length is A is equals to theta, which is the degrees theta pi r over 180 degrees. So pretty much that's what I did. So take a note in this one, take note of this one. It says, for arc length and area of a sector, give your own degree measure. That means you can choose whatever degrees you may like. But of course, the degrees may not go past 360 degrees, since a circle is only 360 degrees total. You can't go further than that. So you, have to, you can just pick any form of degree measure that you want. So for me, I chose 45 degrees. Based on this table right here, I stated that what I used was 45 degrees, so make sure to specify that as well. So now, arc length. A is equals to theta pi r over 180. So 45 degrees, which is theta, then times 3.14, then times 6 over 180 degrees. Alright? So what I did was 45 times 3.14, 141.3, then times it with the 6 centimeters, and then... I divided it by 180. So the so the arc length of 45 degrees is 4.71 centimeters. Take note, because you're going to choose or you're choosing uh, the arc length. So the arc length, the length of the arc. So it's a part of the circle. So you're going to do centimeters, not centimeters squared, because you're not going for a shaded region. For the next one, although, the area of a sector, this we're going to make use of the shaded area. So A is equals to, based on the formula right here, A equals theta pi r squared over 360. So my theta, of course, is 45 degrees still, times 3.14, then 6 centimeters squared. What I did was I squared the 6, 36, and then I multiplied the 45 and 3.14, just like usual, as usual. And then I multiply them again to get 5086.8 over 360 degrees. So we were able to get the area, which is 14.13 centimeters squared. Remember, since we're going for the area of a sector, we're going for a shaded area. So that's going to have a square in it, centimeters squared. Take note of that. And lastly, the equation of a circle is pretty easy. So you might want to go back to the original or to the last lesson that we have. So as you can see, the equation of a circle is stated right here. Equation of a circle, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. So considering based on the instructions right here, Write the equation at the origin 0 as its center. Since the center is at the origin, which means that the center is at 0, 0. So the center is here. We're going to write this formula as this. So remember, based on the formula, the h is going to be your x. And the k is going to be your y. So 
since your center is 0 and 0, we're going to write it as x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared is equals to r squared, which if you know our radius is 6. So, 6 squared. So in order to write it in this equation, since this is 0, you're going to convert it to x squared plus y squared since considering this is 0, so you don't have anything to go up against, equals to 236. So as you can see, that is the answer right here. So this is all going to be the same. Since the center is at 0, it's always going to be x squared x squared plus y squared the only thing you're gonna have to do or to change is going to be the radius since that's going to be different in everybody's measurements and uh, pretty much that's it yeah that's how easy it is so yeah pretty much pretty much we've covered everything and there's a solution here there's an example on the bottom if you still want to go through with it and pretty much yeah that's it thank you for watching and uh, see you all the next one.